Okay, so today we have our February 2022 Art Snacks Plus box. So let's see what we got inside. We're gonna start with the paper. So here we have the ampersand aquaboard with a clayboard texture. It is fully archival and eight by 10. And then our other sheet of paper is Hanamule Agave Watercolor in the size A4, and it's 135 pound paper. We got 12 sheets. And what's really special about it is it's 70% agave fiber and 30% cotton. So, yeah. Now we're gonna take a look at the art supplies that we got. Very nice sticker for Valentine's Day. And time to unwrap our art supplies. Mm. Okay, so the first thing we got in our box is the is the Princeton Heritage Series Synthetic Sable Brush. It's round 06. And it's a really nice brush. They're really popular, but they are very expensive. This one, this one brush costs $15. So yeah, we're gonna take it out of its little package here. And this looks like it's gonna be very nice to use. So the next thing we got is the Sakura Koi watercolors. So these are $3.49 each. We got the colors number two, lemon yellow, and number 44, gray. Um, it says here on this card that they're a staff favorite. And it also, their description is achieve smooth, subtle gradations with Koi watercolors from Sakura. These vibrantly pigmented paints respond to water instantly, performing well when applied to wet or dry paper. They spread easily and evenly, creating beautiful washes and edges. Experiment with layering and blending your new colors. You'll find they dry quickly. So yeah, these seem very nice as well. Okay, and the last thing we got in our box is the Zebra Zensations brush pen. It costs $2.58. And the description is, this brush pen is sensational, a great tool for both calligraphy and illustration. The Zebra Zensations brush pen delivers deep black color and varying lines widths depending on applied pressure. The pigment ink is water resistant, not completely waterproof though, and archival. So your work will last for years to come. So let's get this stuff out of the box and do some swatching. I think we should swatch it on this agave watercolor block. So we'll start by taking out this lemon yellow, put it on our palette. Really, really pretty, just in the palette. And then we have our number 44 gray. So we're gonna start with the yellow. <laughs> so, yeah. It 
So here's it just by itself. Really, really nice yellow color. It has a little bit of a green in it, so it's very perfect for painting lemons. So let's see what it looks like watered down a little more. It really does spread very easily. It's very smooth. And we're gonna go ahead and swatch the gray. So here's the gray watercolor just by itself. Just a little bit of water. It's very nice cool gray. Yeah, now we're gonna add the, we're gonna thin it out, so. Well, it looks like I got a little bit of yellow in the color, but it's fine. It's turned more of a warm gray now, but it's still very nice watercolor. It spreads just as easily as the yellow, and it's very nice. So now we're gonna wait a second for these two to dry, and then we're gonna Take a look at the Zebra Sensations brush pen. Okay, looks like they're dry. So let's take a look. Mmm, the pigment is very nice. It goes over the watercolor really well, actually. So, yeah. It's a lot of fun, actually, because it's very opaque over the watercolor. The brush pen itself is also really nice because you really can get a difference in line thickness with the amount of pressure you apply. It's very fancy, very nice. So... Here are the swatches for everything we got in the box, other than the pen paintbrush, because you can't swatch for paintbrush. But there they are. 